Hi everybody, Leah here, RCIC at Isaac Canada Immigration Consulting, located in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I hope you guys are doing great today. In this video, we are going to be reviewing why you should consider immigrating to the province of Alberta in Canada. Not only is the province considered the job capital of Canada, Alberta boasts low taxes, high wages, and affordable housing, all factors which are really important when considering where to immigrate in Canada and where you want to build your new life. Also, it has some of Canada's most beautiful places in the world, Banff and Jasper. This video is going to be the first of an eight part series covering why the province of Alberta is the number one place to immigrate to Canada. But we're also gonna be covering Alberta immigration programs under the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program in the eight part video series. As a reminder, the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program, formerly the Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program, it's an economic immigration program that nominates people for permanent residence in the province of Alberta. And people who are nominated, you must have the skills to fill the job shortages or be planning to start or buy a business in Canada. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the whole series of videos that are gonna be becoming available to you each week and you'll be notified when a new video pops up for your viewing. So this is a reminder to not only subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so, but click the notification button as well so that you're notified as each new video comes up, which might be relevant to you. Let's get started. We're gonna be covering the top five reasons why you should be immigrating to Alberta. We're gonna be covering jobs, wages, housing, taxes, and quality of life. Let's get started. What spurred the idea of covering um, why you should consider immigrating to Alberta is last month in August, 2022, Premier, the Premier of Alberta, Jason Kenney, shared details about the government Alberta's new talent recruitment campaign that's targeting not only Toronto and Vancouver, but also to encourage and attract new immigrants to come and settle in the province. I think this should reiterate that the province, our government does want you to consider moving to Alberta and you should consider Alberta as your new home. One of the biggest reasons why you should consider the province of Alberta is jobs. Alberta is actually considered the job capital of Canada. Now, Alberta has seen the highest employment growth in the country in 2022. Nearly 80% of Alberta businesses are reporting shortages, restricting their ability to meet demand. The job vacancy rates are at a high right now with more than 100,000 different jobs open and there's not enough people to fill the jobs. I know if you're overseas right now and you hear the number 100,000, you think it's not that much, but honestly, it's a lot. These jobs do require skill sets, and if you have the skill sets, then you should basically consider applying and coming. Between December 2021 and July 2022, employment in Alberta has increased by 68,200 jobs as compared to an increase of only 47,800 in Ontario and 45,400 in British Columbia, despite these areas having larger populations. So we always kind of make a joke like everybody wants to go to MTV in Canada, right? Not that old station from uh, before, but it's Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver, MTV. So I, I think, you know, the government's really trying to highlight how our province is an attractive place to be and should be considered outside of the well-known cities of Montreal, Toronto, and Vancouver. Number two, why you should consider moving to Alberta is you are gonna be earning the highest wage. Alberta workers continue to have the highest earnings across all the provinces. Plus your money goes so much further out here. Let me give you an example. Alberta's average weekly earnings as of May, 2022, was $1,251, right? That's an average weekly earning. And that's the, actually the highest in the country. As compared to the second highest is Ontario at 1,197 per week. And the third is BC at 1,159 per week. According to Statistics Canada 2020 Canadian Income Survey, 
released just a few months ago in March 2022, Alberta families earned a median after-tax income of $104,000 in 2020, which is $7,000 higher than Ontario and nearly $10,000 higher than families in British Columbia. So that's the median after-tax income of $104,000. I just wanted to show you, I came to the albertaiscalling.ca website and it's related to what I shared with you where the Premier Jason Kenney is attracting people to the province and this is part of the campaign. And so I just want to show you, you know, when we're talking about jobs, check this out. You can see the um, average salaries, average annual salaries for different types of jobs. And there's ways to compare it, right? So, for example, you know, if you're a mechanical engineer, average salary in Alberta is 101000 And you compare it to Ontario and it's $87,000. So you can see that there is a significant um, difference if you're looking at a nurse. $92,000 for the average salary as compared to $81,000 in Ontario. Uh, let's see here, programmer average salary, $65,000. Compare it to $53,000 as compared to Ontario. So that's interesting. So check this out if you want to kind of get more information. Now, I'm, I'm going to explain to you why later on this is important because it's related to housing and, and taxes. So not only are you going to be earning more money, you're going to be paying less for your housing and paying less taxes, which is really important. Number three, housing. Housing in Alberta is way more affordable than Vancouver or Toronto, let me tell you. Way more affordable. You know, and, and what's interesting is in Alberta, you know, I'm in Edmonton, uh, the biggest cities are Edmonton and Calgary, and you'll find that everybody you meet is typically from somewhere else, Newfoundland or Ontario um, or another country, because a lot of people wanna come here because they can actually afford a house and they're making more money, right? So let's get into this. According to the Demographia International Housing Affordability Study, which was released in March of this year, it named Calgary and Edmonton among the top 10 most affordable housing markets compared to 92 major cities around the world. So not only are they more affordable urban centers, but they're more affordable compared to other major cities around the world. According to the Canadian Real Estate Association data, the average sale price over the last three years in Edmonton was $383,000. That's 34% of the price of a home in Greater Vancouver and 38% of the price in Greater Toronto, respectively. The average home sale price in Calgary was $484,000, and that's 43% of the price in Greater Vancouver and 48% of the price in Greater Toronto, respectively, again. So again, I just want to show you, I'm on the albertascalling.ca website and in terms of uh, affordability. And the one thing I want to show you, this cool tool, it shows you what the average house cost is and what you can expect. So check this out. Average detached home in Edmonton is at 40, 490,000. Average detached home in Calgary is at 700,000. So this is not a condo, it's not an apartment. This is literally a house by itself. And although these seem like really high amounts, if you compare it to other big cities, look at this. 1.4 million for a detached home in Toronto, 1.8 million for a detached home in Vancouver, right? That's significant. And that's courtesy of Royal LePage. We're looking at a townhouse, right? So those are like row houses, 370,000 in Edmonton, 340,000 in Calgary as compared to Toronto, almost at a million, and Vancouver at 1.1 million. If we're looking at a condo, of course it's more affordable in Edmonton at 210,000, the average condo in Calgary at 230,000, let's compare it. And average condo in Toronto is at 740,000 and compared to Vancouver at 780,000. So that's quite significant. The Canadian Real Estate Association data further shows that home prices are significantly more stable in, a, in Alberta as well, because you know, in Ontario over the last while, houses prices skyrocketed. Um, there was like bidding wars happening, people buying houses without inspections, all these kind of things that were happening in the market over the last year. Over the last 10 years, home sale prices in Edmonton have grown by 18% and in Calgary by 21%. As compared to the same time period, homes in Vancouver, the prices increases by 52% and in Toronto by 135%. Like that's a lot, that's significant. 
you know, if, if, if the housing prices, you know, you're planning on buying a house and all of a sudden it's, it's skyrocketing it, rocketing to 135% as compared to 18 or 21% in Calgary or Edmonton, that's very significant. The number four reason why you should consider moving to Alberta is taxes. Alberta families generally pay lower personal taxes. Alberta has no provincial sales tax, payroll tax, or health premium, all which saves you money. So like I said, Albertas are paying less than overall taxes with no PST, no payroll tax, health premiums, as well as low provincial income tax that almost 40% of Alberta tax filers don't pay. Number five, why you should consider immigrating to Alberta is quality of life. So you have access to the most famous mountain parks for hiking and skiing and biking, if that's your jam and if that's what you like to do. Plus, Alberta always boasts having 300 days of sunshine per year. I know that might seem like a funny statistic to bring to your attention, but the reality is, is, you know, all my friends in Vancouver always talk about the mood disorder, you know, because it's always raining and there's not a lot of sunlight and they get depressed, right? Even though BC is beautiful, Vancouver's beautiful. I, a lot of my friends actually suffer from that. But in Alberta, the majority of the days are sunny. So even when it's blistering cold outside, you have the sun shining and you're like, okay, it's gonna be a good day. The sun's shining, there's some warmth on my face. Everything's good, right? And I think it actually does change your mood and, and uh, attitude towards life. So it is significant, especially when you're living in a colder climate in the winter months. And one thing I always tell people is I actually love the summers in Alberta because it's getting light at five in the morning and the sun's not going down till midnight. So it makes you feel like your days are way longer on the beautiful summer nights. You know, you can go for a walk later because it's light outside and you feel safe and comfortable. Um, but of course, in the wintertime, the days, the daylight does get shorter, but we do have a lot of sunlight coming through. The other big advantage is the communities. Like I said, Calgary and Edmonton are the larger communities in the province and you spend way less time commuting. I know my friends in Toronto and Vancouver, they're always complaining about travel time. Like, yeah, I make a good living. Um, it, it takes an hour for me to drive to my job site, you know, because it's usually in another nearby um, neighboring city in the GTA. And then driving home is another hour. So you're spending two hours of your life commuting to work. So not only do you just have like a nine hour day, but now you add on that two extra hours, you're looking at, you know, 11, 11 hour day, sometimes even 12 hours, maybe even longer, depending on how much effort you put in or overtime you put in. And so a lot of people I know complain about that commute because it takes away from their existence, their life. And so the advantage of living in Edmonton and Calgary is that the commute time is way shorter. That's one interesting thing. And, you know, I'm in Edmonton here and the city's actually really spread out over a large geography. Um, but there's like some ring roads that can connect you very quickly to other ends of the city. And another thing is, is Calgary was recently named the world's third most livable city by the Economic Intelligence Unit's ranking. So overall, as you can see, I've highlighted five really important reasons why you should be considering immigrating to Alberta, why this should be your province of choice. I hope you found this information useful. If you've already immigrated to Alberta and you have advice for anybody watching this channel, put your comments down below. Let people know what you think. Let people know what your experience has been. Are you thinking about immigrating to Alberta? Let us know. And remember, stay tuned because we're going to be releasing new videos about the different immigration programs in Alberta that might be relevant for you. So make sure to subscribe you know, uh, hit that notification button. If you need help determining what are your best immigration options and even what, like looking into if Alberta is the right program for you, please reach out to us. Go to isaacimmigration.ca, book a consultation, and I'd be happy to speak with you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments down below, and I look forward to seeing you in a couple days. Bye, everybody.